Oh my God, thank goodness, my, the message is here. The UPS is here in the room. Where is he? Maybe he's over here. Where is the UPS man? Is he sitting over here?
Um, I want to tell you what I used to do when I was sort of a slightly eccentric kid, I'm very normal now, is I, um, I used to go to Macy's when I was in theater school back at Hunter College in New York, and I would bring a suitcase and I would beg for money. And I would tell them going to Connecticut and I couldn't get the ticket. <laughs> Just an average day of my life. And, uh, and it was always interesting that the minority people always threw a dollar at me or gave me a dollar and wished me luck. And people from going up the Long Island Railroad in the suits, they sort of looked at me like I was crazy and walked by. And I always thought that, that uh, I learned from that moment on that people, uh, people who struggle understand needing need things. And people who don't always struggle don't always understand in general. And so I've learned to really respect people who, are, uh, who suffer and struggle. Uh, throughout my life, I, uh, let's see, uh, uh, I have been, uh, okay, okay, that's what I'm to tell you, is uh, my 50th birthday is coming up in a few months, and uh, thank you very much. <laughs> and if I'm turning 50, you must be turning 50 because you're so much. So, uh, and, uh, so I saved this money over the last couple of years to go on a big 50th vacation somewhere. I don't, still don't know where I want to go. And I'm a Libra, so that's pretty typical for a Libra. Yay! Oh, you're a Libra too, of course. Is there any Libras in the house? No? Okay, two? That's it. Oh my god. So, uh, so I, I decided uh, for my, my 49th birthday, I made a decision. I'm gonna take, I decided I'm going to take all my money for my 50th birthday, and I'm going to create this ministry thing called Wig Wild Inspirational Gatherings. And I'm going to support my community and myself with the abundance that I feel, because I feel lucky that I have uh, things in my life. I, have sim I live a simple life, but I felt empowered by it, so I decided that I would take the money and open something called Wig and go to youth groups and inspire people to fall in love with being gay. I lived in uh, South Beach in the 90s. I lived in Santa Fe when I was just coming gay. I lived in the gay village in Montreal, Provincetown for 17 years. So I know gay. <laughs> I, know, um, I know how wonderful it is and how much a magic trick and a mad miracle it is to be gay. I used to live uh, with the Radical Fairies. Did anyone hear them? Yeah. Uh, coming, yes. The Radical I used to live with them in Tennessee for three years, and uh, 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 the Radical Fairies, I would have to say, they understand being gay as the most spiritual gift there is, and that being gay is, a, uh, is an, the ultimate abundance. And they will show you when they're, they're coming down in the fall, they'll put on a show for you, and uh, you'll say, okay, that's a Radical Fairy. And they all look a little like Jesus Christ, that's how you know a Radical Fairy. You know a bear, because they have the, 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 the Radical Fairies are incredible. So, uh, so they'll be down. Um, Rig is in its 12th week, and uh, uh, we are just starting to break even. We, we used to lose a lot of money every week, and now we're starting to break even. I feel abundant that now it's starting to mellow out. Soon the fall will come, and more people come to town, and everybody talks to them on the Street. I've heard so much about Rig. The word is getting out there. Boom, loves us. I feel abundance by that. And November 30th, Fatamdi Springs is hope hosting a whole week weekend, a, a gay men's spirituality, and the guys that you've been saying with gay spirituality so long, let's talk about it. So instead of seeing how little we have, I like to see how much is going on. Instead of seeing um, how uh, competitive things could be, I like to see Thursday night being the cabaret night of what matters. And, uh, and Thursday night is uh, not just a night to go out and have drinks anymore, it's a night to go see shows and live. And that's very important for our community, especially as we get older, we can't all just go out for cocktails. It's time to go see the show. And incredible entertainers, please make some noise for Deborah Hampton. Uh, my dream for Wolf Manners is that it turns into an artist community, an artsy people where there's shows and things happening, and it's a creative place for creative people to go. Um, uh, there's a woman uh, whose name is Louise Hay. Has anyone heard of her? What? Yes, Louise Hay. She talks about abundance. And she says that uh, she plays. T she says that people play tapes in their head, even from their parents. So if your mother or father is afraid of the dark, or afraid of people, or doesn't like pasta, you, in general, very possibly may not like the same things, or you may take the opposite end and just love it just to prove your parents wrong. So these tapes play in our head. Abundance and fear of abundance may take play in our head. Some of the tapes uh, that we play are people are bad. Wolf Manners is full of drug addicts and alcoholics. I've heard that before. But relationships don't last. Friends are hard to find. And, uh, uh, and, and I would like to say that I, I, all of those are true for me. Oh God, I'm so sorry. It just gets me. So I like to replace these, uh, these words with things like, um, I attract loving people to me. Wilt Manners is a fun, growing, friendly, inspirational place. I make friends easily, and I have, uh, I have long-lasting relationships. So I like to, uh, to think of in, in those terms. 
as far as, uh, uh, let's see, so, uh, I know sometimes it's, uh, okay, good, there's something called biofeedback. Has anyone heard of that? I may be saying the wrong word, but I uh, had the luck of going to my friend's 50th birthday in Burning Man. Did anyone ever heard of Burning Man? <coughs> yes, Burning Man, right? That's uh, where, the, where you ask, what's in the brownie? What's in the chocolate brownie before you eat the chocolate brownie? And uh, it's a very special place. It's the most artistic, creative place I've ever been in my life. It's probably, it's, uh, you can't even explain it. Uh, you can't, there's no way to explain it. It's a circus of incredible visual magnificent things and unfortunately it's also in the desert and it's very dusty and uh, you have to wear masks and it's crazy dusty so we went to a seminar by this woman uh, um her name was uh I, I can't remember her name at the time but she did this seminar and she came out with this butterfly uniform and she, the whole room had to separate and she uh incredible woman but i didn't want to stay before she came out i was tired i've been sitting on the ground i was coughing from the dust and I said to my friend, if you find me a chair, I will stay. So we're about to leave, and this man out of nowhere was sitting on a the chair. There's one chair out of like 500 people. He says, do you want my chair? <laughs> so I said, yeah, I'll take your chair. So, uh, so my friend said, okay, something's up. And uh, so I sat in the chair, and uh, we watched this seminar of this woman, and she does something, she does something where she, it's called tapping. And she says that our uh, hypothalamus, I think whatever the place is here, you tap it. Can everybody tap right above their sacrum? But tap hard to hear, make some noise, right? She says that's our fuse box. She says that's our fuse box for tapping. And she teaches tapping all over the world. So she said to me, I want you to tap. And then she said, what do you want? And, I, and this was last year in August. And I said, I want to do this thing called wig. I've been wanting to do it for 15 years since I graduated Unitarian Seminary. So she said, OK, start tapping. So I, you tap your chest, and then you tap your face like this. Actually, let's all do it together. Uh, uh, before we do it, think of something that you want, something light. Just think of something that you like. Uh, uh, when you pick it, it can be something simple. OK, now think about it. Now tap your hypothalamus. This is your f fuse box. OK, tap that. Now tap Tap your chin, tap your, your, from cheek to cheek. Cheek to cheek, tap your head. And this is our fuse, this is, this is putting it in our bodies. Okay, now tap, go to your arm and tap your arm. Okay, and now change hands and tap the other arm, right? And then tap the chest, perfect. And then the face again, thank you. And then the forehead, oh good, you can do it with both hands, that's wonderful. Try with both hands, that's good. <laughs> go ahead. Everybody's got it going right. Okay, and now we can stop. Thank you. That's called tapping. And what you did is you ignited the fuse box and you gave it a message of something you wanted. And now the body has uh, has that feeling of what's going to go on. Uh, let's see. So how I want to say this is uh, okay. Uh, since you're so nice, will you come back up again for a minute? So you're from Boston? Yes. I've been there before. Okay. So uh, so now watch this. Uh, does this hurt you or no? Okay. So I'm going to say this. Dog, dog, dog. Okay, you got it? Now I'm gonna touch you and you tell me the first word that comes to your mind. Dog, right, okay, now I'm gonna say, I'm gonna ask you to feel a part of your body. Dog! Okay, good, okay, you didn't feel it there. Now what happens if I, I didn't do it. So what happens is if I do it again tomorrow, and then in a week from now, it'll take you a month to get that out of your body. When someone does this, you'll think of it. Thank you very much, make some noise. So anyway, the moral of the story is our body holds memories and we have a way of breaking out of those memories by tapping, by changing our affirmations, not listening to our mind, by recreating our language. We have a way to make it to make it rain, make it rain men, make it rain abundance, make it rain money. We have an incredible way within ourselves. So I, as a gift to all of you, I invite you all to, when you're home, if you have any issues, you tap them away, you make sure that you get it out of your body, you get massaged, and you make Make sure when it rains, and it rains in what matters, it rains abundance, it rains love for you all, and it's raining men. Thank you very much.